Welcome, Sketchbook Heroes, Warriors, and everybody. Uh, we've got uh, uh, quite a battle tonight. Let me share my screen so we can see what we're doing. Now, let's see. Jump right into this. There we go. There are drawings. There they are. Here we are. So there's uh, 31 photos submitted, but uh, some of them are interesting. They, they are no, no need for drawing. <laughs> I like that little uh, acronym here. So we've got that one. That's a little more advanced. Uh, I thought I had these in order. Let me refresh this. There we go. Uh, it's just in any order, I guess. Yeah, no, you did. I did, huh? <laughs> you, you did have them in order. They came up in order on mine. Yeah, yeah, I did. I put them in order. My, my nice, super easy ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I, we'll definitely do one of those Nighthawks, uh, Edward Hopper. Uh, and, uh, and some flowers. We'll do some flowers tonight. This will be later on. We're going to start off with, uh, let's see, and it's a happy, happy, have a happy Easter. Thank you so much. No need for uh, drawing. And uh, that one's really cute. No need for drawing. It's again, and here's where we start. There we go. Starting simple. Even though this one's simple, it's actually pretty interesting. It's it's a little more complex than than uh, than it looks. It's a little deceiving because you, they really, the artist really captured form here. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to go into this one. This is this one's actually simple. Uh, not easy sometimes. It's simple. It, can, it depends on where your challenge is. And uh, we'll try to tackle a bunch of these. This will take us some time. So we'll tackle a bunch of these drawings. Uh, this will probably take us for the first hour. Uh, this one too for the first hour. And then here, this will start take us to the second hour. We'll do a caricature. Um, and then we'll do uh, something a little more realistic in that second hour. Uh, here's a cartoon. This actually is uh, like uh, Ellen said up here. It is they are simple shapes. It's a uh, just about square, a little tapered, and uh, you can see uh, uh, that robot and uh, a little political. But uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, you can see it's a simple drawing. Uh, it's okay if you fall apart sometimes. <laughs> Tacos fall apart, and we still love them. That's a great quote. Yeah. Taco Thursday, and this one's cool. Uh, Step aside coffee. This is a job for alcohol. Uh, what I like about this one is the forms. You got the the cylinder here, and another uh, actually a semi sphere sphere cut in half, and they're actually pushing that that top oval um, a little bit, uh, changing that oval a little bit, stylizing it. Really nice style. Uh, there's no need to for drawing on that one. So. <laughs> some more some more quotes I'm, I'm a teetotaler so that was not a recommendation to really drink just to laugh okay yeah just to laugh uh okay yeah uh yeah, use promo code netflix to get 50 percent off your social life yeah and this one too these are all uh social commentaries uh definitely and, and it is uh, it is translated to say let me go let me go i have things to do so but who's holding on to who right that's that's the question there and we'll see, we'll see what we'll get through these. And this will be the, the final hours. This one's not too bad, actually. I kind of like this one. Might might move this one up uh, as far as a drawing. It's uh, just, just it looks really abstract, but how do you break that down into shapes? You can see the ovals in there. And then, yes, we go to Edward Hopper. And this will probably end the night. We'll probably do this, this one, this Edward Hopper famous painting. Uh, really funny uh, scenes here, though. The Santa Claus, and then we've got uh, Homer that one and where's the joke one i think i passed it it was something about not you where is that oh not you too larry pumpkin flavored <laughs> there we go all right so let's start let's start off with uh ooh. oh and, and it's definitely some flowers let's try to get all these in a lot of pictures tonight we'll see what, what we can do all right let's uh start off with a dinosaur let's start off simple there it is all right so what's uh, this this dinosaur is actually kind of difficult um uh, why because uh the the form that it, it captures all right so we'll see uh, if i put the square in here put our square you can see how it um the, the this curve and trying to capture that form there so this is pretty square there but you can see how it cuts off and how how uh, try to capture that that shape it would probably be more of a an old circle shape there you can see that circle yeah look at that Actually, that circle's really nice right there. Uh, that circle there is how it swoops and tapers down. The hard part is the tapering because you can see that even the neck tapers on this one. The neck is, uh, this one's pretty straight here. This one's straight up and down. And this one has a slight angle to it. Notice that angle. 
If I continue the line, you can see that that neck kind of that angle there and how it tapers. All right, so we're observing and seeing uh, these angles, and you can see this tail kind of comes down a little bit and then shoots up. Right, uh, a little bit of observing before we start to draw. All righty, should I? Um, all right, we'll screenshot this. Now, another thing, I actually was inside another uh, person's uh, Zoom drawing class, and they actually were have uh, had people screenshot their drawings and then um, upload them. Let me see. I should keep those. Let's see. I'll do. I'll do two screenshots. All right, and let's just jump into this. What in my chat? There we go. We'll do both. There's this one. Capture, and we'll get this going. Again, you can actually even um, practice a warm up. You don't have to do this. It could be uh, if it's. Uh, there's a lot of ways to warm up. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have some videos on that. All right. Let's start off with a blue. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, screenshot it one more time. Oh. Is this upside down? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have uh, once I have my setup, it's gonna be really nice because then I, I can all I can do all I have to do is press some buttons, and we'll go from camera to camera. Right now, I'm just using one camera. I'm gonna see how many cameras I can get set up. Yeah. All right, so there's our drawing. All right, I'm going to start off with the square, just a square, just to get us started to uh, see how it relates. If you can draw a square, you can draw a square really small or big. It's going to be that square. And this is just to get us started. And inside that square is kind of like a, that circle, I guess. But you can see how the, the head is going to fit up here, too. So I have space for the head, which is uh, I didn't measure, measure that, but I, I think it looks like a little bit smaller than the square space. A little bit smaller and then out here too a little bit smaller than the tail so make sure you have that space there's one foot here on this side and another foot on this other side a little bit on the inside of that uh, of that square then it comes straight across i'm just blocking things in and then i have that circle that's in here this mass it looks like a little car well, this mass is going to be in here, and then it, the tail comes in right about up in here. See, so I can see how it fits this whole mass as it comes up that tail part, and then comes down and then up. So this tail comes down and then up right in there, right in there. So I'm getting that back tail the way it flips or the way it flows. And then this angle here, I didn't get, the, I did put it, but I didn't uh, save it. And it tapers. As you draw the second line, notice how it gets thinner and thinner as it gets uh, further to the tail, to the tip of the tail. And that that's the challenge. Because you're not only drawing this line, you're drawing a shape. You're drawing the shape that, that uh, kind of looks like a rhinoceros horn. But it's that tail. There we go. There's the tail. All right. Tail of two cities. All right, so we are going to get to the uh, more complex drawings. Everything's made up of shapes. So those of you who are new, try to see the shapes. So this neck comes up here, a slight angle. There's a slight angle. And then uh, on this side, there's the head, which is kind of like an oval. I would say an oval, but then it has a little bit more of a, of a, a flattened angle to it. So it does come in, come up. And then the, the front can, comes down to like a, a, a point, just like that. How big? That's uh, that's where proportions come in. I might be doing it a little small. Could be bigger. I can I can actually probably even make it bigger if you need to. But I'm not. I didn't uh, make any. <laughs> I didn't make any associations or connections as far as what that is. And then this part of the neck kind of goes pretty much straight down. There we go. And attaches. And it's just, just one dot for the eye. Right about there. Nice. And then uh, just round and round. There we go. I think that's pretty good. All right. All right. 
There's our first drawing. Let's go to the second one. Let's go back. Yeah, so you can actually go to the uh, meetup and uh, find the, the pictures and go in your own pace. Here's another simple one. There's that one. Um, I'll, I'll leave this one up and I'll just draw it really quick, small, small, actually in this background, we'll see. I've got my water, my water line up here. I can put this like the ocean and it's pretty straight. Uh, and then we've got that island, which is a, a half a circle. And I should zoom in. I don't um, who was complaining about their new setup. And if they've had it for like several months now. Copy image address, put it over here, paste. So before I used to be able to zoom in and zoom out a lot easier. There we go. That's better. There we go. All right, so I have it in my background here. I have my island, and then um, and then notice the uh, the palm tree. I see it as one big shape. Let's zoom in on my screen. There we go. That's the palm tree, not the sun. The sun's way up here. I'm gonna actually have to make it smaller because I didn't make enough room for it. It's just a circle, and then it just radiating lines outside of that, radiating one above, one below. Looking at the placement of those little radiating uh, little things uh, that we have 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Oh, my 9 o'clock got too close, too close to the sun. And then there's, uh, then there's the ones in between those. All right, so that's it. In between at the 45 degree kind of spots. There's my sun, just like they have it. And then, uh, although my proportions are probably off, yeah, the sun is probably bigger and uh, and little, the little dots are a little further away. But that's good. That's good that I can see that. You're not going to get it, but it's good to see it. And, and then uh, it improves for next time. Right, a little bit of an angle on the trunk of this tree or palm. I've got the shape of the palm. And I've got one sticking up this way. I can do them with stick figures or stick lines. There's one going that way, one going this way. I've, I've already got the placement, and then another one going this way, another one coming down right in there, another one over here, and then the last one over here between these two. See, and I did, did them as stick, fig, uh, stick lines to just get a placement, a placeholder, and then all I need to do is just go around them. So I can go around them, and there's a thickness and thinness. So it, they're kind of like banana shapes. They look like banana shapes. So it gets wider, and then it gets thinner, or like little moons. So they kind of look like little moons. So I look at it, and then I draw it, these little banana banana shapes over the little area that I just had. The three on the left swoop to the left, and then the three on the right swoop to the right. They swoop or, or curve, curve to the right. I guess that would be a better way of saying it. There we go. There's one curve, another curve. I'm going too slow. You feel free to shade, color, do other stuff as we speed up. And I think I can see that it would probably be a little bit bigger. I'm going to bring it down, making an adjustment just proportional wise. And then this would bring the, my whole island down as well. I probably drew it a little big. That's okay. I can draw my island darker. And then we've got the uh, the ocean, the ocean in there. It's quite quite a there's like uh, there's right on that line. I can see the points. So there's going to be one point right in here. One, two, and three. Once we have those three, that's going to help us. Uh, those three points, that's going to help us get the other ones. You can see they're pretty equal distant. So you've got that one, two, three, and then just get that same distance. And kind of eyeballing it. We're eyeballing that same distance there. And then one more time there. So two on the outside, three in the inside, and then one more on the outside. And then that's it. Those three points. And then once you have those three points, and just you can do the wave. The wave to the points. No. That gets it pretty accurate. And then there's uh, some more waves down here. And there we go. There's our second drawing for the night. A little cartoon. 
All right, and you can uh, do the coloring, the shading. You've got other materials. So everything's made up of shapes. Uh, we break things down. We'll try to see the big shapes first. There is a process. And uh, tonight we just practice. For those of you who are here, it's, this is all just practice. We just practice. Uh, the lessons will be up next month. <laughs> Oh, but actually, yeah, they, they should, they'll, they'll be up. I've got, I've got the, the writing for them. I've got, and you'll be able to go at your own pace and know where you're at. All right, let's go. We got something in the chat. Uh, zooming in is really nice. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next. Oh, I, uh, let me, I, just, I forgot I was sharing my screen. Let's go back to uh, this one. You should have done the island first, then you could put the dinosaur on it. Yeah, yeah, that would have been cool. It's all good. Well, you can you can still um, actually put the uh, the island. Well, there's a lot of ways of doing it. You can put him on a different island. There we go. All right, there we go. An island. I think we'll skip this one. Uh, it's really simple. Get an idea. Uh, a little complex as far as the lines. You would need a ruler. There we go. Let's uh, next. All righty. Where are we going to start with one of these? All right. There's a lot to draw here. Uh, I'm going to copy the this image and put it in the uh, chat. Chat. There we go. There it is. There's the chat. Uh, we'll draw as many as we can. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll break some. I'll break it down a little bit, and then I'll just start drawing them. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's break this down. All right. This is getting serious right here. This is the serious drawing stuff all right so um <clears throat> when you see the big shapes here you can definitely see that circle there it's kind of implied and see how it scoops out i don't know let's see we can um yeah there's a there's a lot going on here like there's here's there's one circle for this head and then you can see the way the nose the nose has uh two ovals and this is a big jump really it's a big jump from um uh, from what we just did to, to these these are really a little more complex here's a head that's a circle there's another circle you can see that circle there you can see this old shape there and uh what really helps with that is seeing the relationship of both how are they this how you know this angle here this angle there that angle there and then there's a swoop here on this uh it's almost like seeing this as one shape this pear shape that's there and you can see one leg going up, down, the axis lines of these shapes for the legs, these angles coming out. I guess we'll start off with this horse, of course. Actually, I, think I like a, the dachshund at the top. The dot. Oh, yeah. I like, the, I like the horse, too. <laughs> well, let's see how many I, I can get through. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to draw them pretty quickly, all of them. All right, I'll uh, do another little screenshot of this. And then you like the dog, the dog, the angry dog. I think we're going to go just left yeah, for the, right. the, the dachshund, the hot dog dog. Yeah, up there. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, let's get this going. I think I'm going to just draw them all. I'm going to draw them all. I don't know. See how we'll just see how it goes and try something different. We'll try something different because this is definitely different. This is definitely different. So, well, I'm going to start off with that. Uh, with I'm gonna go left to right. I got this from my the page of old style drawing. Oh, so this is what you'd see in the 1930s. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. You can see it's it's an old old time drawing. All right, I don't know how zoomed in I am. There we go. So I'm gonna start off with I'll start off with the uh, giraffe. Um, I'm gonna left go left to right. Let's see. Ooh, see, this is where uh, my two cameras would, would be working really good because then I can have it side by side. All right, so the, uh, there's the head, the head of starting off with a circle. Once I have that circle, I'm going to go, I can actually go to my screen and see that the head is that's one, one, two, three, four. The neck is about four times the size of the head. So I've got, I'm going to, here's a one, two, three, four four i'm going down four and then uh there's the body the body and the body's probably twice the size of the head yeah a little bit a little bit bigger than twice the size so uh we're gonna go a little bit bigger twice the size of the head and it it is this uh shape 
here. So this is the proportions. We got the head. That's That gets us the placement as well, how far the head is from the body. And uh, this is this is really important. I've missed it when I've done it a drawing as, of horses, and we've had horses that look like giraffes. So that, that happens. Uh, we're going to pull this oval out a little bit, uh, give it a little bit of a, a valley, pull it out a little bit more. It does kind of triangulate a little bit. And then we got the feet. Uh, we got uh, like I did the um, the palm tree, I'm going to kind of just put the, the 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 legs in with lines, stick figure sticks here. They come in and then they go out. And then we got one foot and then another foot, little oval there. Oops, going too low. There, one foot, one foot. And then uh, the back feet go the opposite direction. One goes that way, then comes in. Then there's one foot above that and the other one behind that like that. There we go. Goes out and in. All right. There's the body. All right. Let's uh, do the head. The head has a lot of detail. So let's zoom in on that. There we go. A lot of detail in the head. All right. There's two, two ovals. I would say if we break that uh, circle in half, because it is looking to, to the right, there's like a three-quarter view. So we need to capture that. Um, I would put uh, this in half like that, that that's circle for the head. And then I would put uh, an oval here, right in there, right in there. And then another oval that kind of sticks out, another oval. It looks weird, but um, those two ovals are the, the shape of that, um, that um, snout, I guess. So I would say snout. I see, here we go. There's one, and then it comes up and around like that. Um, and then from this side, it attaches to like a cheek that's way over here, way over here. So the cheek's over here. And then you attach that like that right there. There it is. So we had that center of that circle. You can see the two ovals. Now you have that snout. And then if you want to erase those lines inside, you can erase those. But right here, these are the nostrils. There's two nostrils. There's one here. And then another one, a little bit smaller because it's in, in uh, going back in space. So it's a little bit smaller. This one's facing us. And this one's going away from us. So there's the two nostrils. All right, let's get these eyes. Um, right on top, right on that center line, on that center. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. There's one. And then here's the other one right in there. There is a, a little bit of a highlight inside. So the pupil, uh, I'm going to try to keep it uh, right in there. There's a little bit of a highlight right in there. See, a little like a little triangle that's cut out. Oh, almost lost it right in there. I think I did, I did lose it a little bit. There they are. There's the eyes. Here's the head, solidify it, and there's there's the there it is. There's that's the uh, the main part. Uh, let's do the outside parts. We've got uh, let's start off with the uh, little antler. These are not horns. They're kind of like what? Are, yeah, they're they're yeah. They're actually I know they're made of hair. Uh, you can actually start off with the circle first. See how far it's going to go. That circle. Do that circle. That's a good way of doing it sometimes. And then just uh, attaching it, attaching it to the head, two lines. And they taper. It does go wider as it goes out. And then it's got an ear. The ear that kind of swoops out, it comes in. And there's the ear. There we go. There's an ear. And then we've got two little lines on this left side. Uh, I don't know if they're uh, little eye, eye lines. A little bit of eyebrows on there. That's all good. And then this other antler kind of pointing out in that direction. Ooh, actually, there we go. Let's just go around, and bring it down. And then it goes on to the other ear. We could really populate this island. Put a giraffe <laughs> on the left. I put the I turned the dinosaur into a sea monster and put him in the sea. 
Ah, nice. Can't wait to see it. Then we've got the inner ear. There it is. And then we've got the cheek. The cheek it goes around like that. The cheek goes around. And then the mouth. Uh, I'm going to do the mouth first and then the, the chin or the, that bottom lip. So it kind of like a teardrop shape comes up and wraps around, gets wider, and then comes back up. There we go. There we go. That's it right there. And you can see a little bit of a tongue, maybe, I think. I don't know. Or it might be hallucinating. It's really small. And then we've got the chin part, which just goes around that, around that shape. There we go. There's the head. There's the head of our giraffe. Now let's get the, we've got the body way down here. We need to attach the, the head now to the body. All right, we've got that. We're going to start off with this side and come down and it looks like my body's probably a little to the right might have to move it to the left that's okay that's why we did it light and there's that neck from here down and then on the left side way over here and bring that down there and i might uh, yeah i'm gonna have to move the body over a little bit the body over that's okay everything's gonna have to move over a little bit all right i like that all right there's my funky giraffe just put some the spots on there we got one spot up here another spot up here and then another one over here and then another one a little bit lower here we go all right, the neck is done. Let's zoom in and just do the body. Let's zoom in and do the body, body, body. Now you see, I did have to move it over, uh, but nobody knows. I did make it a little bit. Actually, that helps make it wider. And uh, there we go. This comes in like that. Um, ma, ma, ma. Put the legs in, in the front. Let's start with the left foot. It does go to like a circle for the knee. That knee kind of comes in, and then you can see that little circle for the knee, and then just wrap around it, and then bring it down. There's no hooves on this. There's no hooves on this. Uh, there's no hooves. They're more like paws, which is interesting. Somebody didn't study. Well, it was harder to study back in the day. They didn't have the internet, so they kind of had to... Who knows, maybe it wasn't near a zoo or something. So there's the left front foot, or right front foot, left to us. And then we'll do the, the center body right here. Then we'll do the right foot, right to us. And there's that knee, this knee right there. A little bit of a knee, knee knobby knee circle. Down, comes in and around. There it is. Kind of look like little bean shapes. There's the, they're attached. That's it. Come up here. And there's the front. All right, we can put the, there's, the neck has some wrinkles on it. There's one, and then it comes out. I hear there's one wrinkle, and then another wrinkle, kind of like that. Uh, there's a spot right about there. And two spots on this side, one, two, and two more spots. One right here, and then one right here. And I'm not worried about erasing. That could looks even looks like a sh shadow, sh shadow, shadow, sh shade and shadow together. A shadow. All right, let's get those back legs in. Now, good thing to do is see those knees. There's one knee right there, another knee over here, and then we can just add, now we can attach those legs. Just go around those knees, bring it down, goes around, and then up. And then the inside, actually the inside of that doesn't stick out as much. That knobby knee. 
There we go. That's one. Let's do this other one. Around, down, around. There we go. And this, you can actually see the inside because of the overlapping of those legs. All right, one down. All right, let's say I'll take requests. Do I see anything? No. All right, there's our giraffe. All right, oh, let's do the mule. The mule is up here. All right, uh, start off with a circle. That's the head. And the size of the head is about the size of the, the, uh, the first circle on the body and the way it attaches. Watch the spacing here. You don't want to make another giraffe. So it's it's about that much space. Um, and then we've got another circle about the same size. This is the neck going onto the body. So another one about the same size. And then we've got another one that's uh, about, uh, about that big, right about up there. Right in there like that. I'm looking at this angle. That's the angle that I kind of saw here. And I can see it without the, looking at the other picture. You can see that angle. This angle helps me place this back part of that uh, horse. Mule. Mule. It's a mule. That's, and it gives me that angle there. And then I've got this back foot coming down. It comes down. Back. And I'm looking at the center. I'm looking at the center. This is the middle. And I'm just kind of placing that. And the foot kind of comes out there. The center here comes out like that. It's almost like stick figures. This angle here. And then this angle there. This angle here. Coming back. And then this angle going forward. Make sure the placement of the feet. There's one here. And another one over here. They're more like triangles. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Oh, I'm getting a buzz. It's hey. you. Hey. Hey. Hi. No, I'm in my class. I know. All right. Yep. All right. So there's the head. There's the body. I like the way it looks. I think. I think. Uh, I think I might have to move the head back a little bit. I don't know. I can see. I can make those adjustments now to see how things are. Definitely. There's a tail. The tail kind of comes. Um, the tail goes up and back and kind of curves. But yeah. Not I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make a mess. All right. So there's the head, and then the 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 uh, like a number eight. Is this uh this trunk here? The trunk, the what is that called? I'm sure it has a name for horses, especially here. All right, I think I like that. So that we have that eight, we have the body, everything looks good. I'm gonna start off with the face. Let's zoom in even more and get that uh get that eye. So this whole thing right here, this whole part is an eye. <laughs> really interesting. Oh, this is an eye. There's an eye. So it, it kind of comes in like this. And then there's a triangle cut out of that. So there's a little bit. Um, I'm making it a little bit bigger. But you can see a little bit of a triangle just cut out of that um, eyeball. I eyeball and then shade it all in. Ooh. All right. All right. Real loud. And then, then the eyeball kind of comes back back over here and then there's a wrinkle right hey guys look at my drawing all right john pork yeah all right mm -hmm. Let's see. Back to our drawing here. 
Here we go. So we got the the nose coming out and back, and then the the lip coming back to the uh, little happy face right there. That is a really big eye. <clears throat> Try to get this lip right here. That lip, the lip kind of kind of pushes out a little bit. And then we've got a little, like it kind of looks like a seed almost for the nose. It's got like a little seed shape right in there. All right. Bring back the uh, the jaw. Then there's a chin. It does have a chin. This one does have a chin. And then it has the bottom lip like that. There's a bottom lip, a chin and a jaw then now we can attach that to the to the body attach one here and then attach that there there's the neck and that's it oh something about the giraffe though the giraffe has a little bit of a shadow on this left side i forgot the shadow shadow nose slight shadow makes that pop all right on this one there's the head, a couple of hairs, one, two, could be three. And then we've got the ears, ears coming back. I'm gonna do the one in front first. The sun comes kind of up like that and then swoops in like that. There we go, comes up and then swoops back right in there line in the middle and then the other ear it's kind of in that space you can do it light first and then dark it's a good way to draw draw lightly first and then you like it and then do it draw darker it kind of takes a little bit longer at first but um it it helps with it helps it even with practice you can see okay here's this it's going to go there you like it and then you draw darker and see, get that form in there. Draw this leg here. This one has that uh, little ball foot right there. The, the knee. Another ball right there for the other knee. Then here we have a triangle. Right there. there we go. And uh, what was that? And you carry out. Oh, we got another one. Is that oh, Ryan? All right, so let's see. Measure it. Sorry about that. All righty. <clears throat> All right, let's go back. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes. There we go. All right. All right. So we got that leg. Notice how I I, I put the knee and I put the the, the foot and that triangle shape. And uh, this is the the structure of it. This is the structure. Ah, uh, and he's bad. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Go around for the knee. And then around at the bottom part, there's that other circle, and then the foot. Right there, the foot. There. Do the other side. There's a couple little hairs. And then going up, around, and detached. There it goes. Attached to the body. Opened up. That's it. All right, looking good, looking good. And then the the tummy, tummy up to this back 
this goes pretty straight. And then it goes back up here. <clears throat> now I have my zigzag here for the, that back leg and where it's going to go. This, this part right here is pretty complex. Uh, there's a, a circle here, like at that joint, and then there's another one right next to it. And then there's that uh, that toe, that little horseshoe, a little bit of a toe. It's kind of like a like a little knife right there. All oh, right, somebody sharing. Nice. That's cool. All right, and then we've got, uh, let me see. Oh, super cool, Jack. Awesome. There you go. And, 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 and there's Jack again. RK and J Port. RK and J Port. Are they still here? No. That's all good. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Wow. It's like, here we go. All right. Let's get this leg done. You can see the zigzag. I'm going to go uh, around. It kind of attaches itself and then comes uh, around and up. This upper part of the leg is thicker, so make sure you can, it's a, it's wider up here, and then it gets thinner as it comes down. So this whole this whole um, leg part down and then up is wider, and then here as it comes down, it's thinner. It comes down thinner, that whole shape down to the uh, down to that joint. That's right there. There it is, up and down. That's good. And then to the uh, lead hoof, right, like that, a little knife. And I think there's like a little hair over here or something, little, little hair. All right, let's do the next one. Let's next legs, the back legs. These are the legs that are facing us. And then the ones behind are over here coming. You can see the angles and I've got already already here. Uh, this bottom part coming down rounded and then it comes up and then around and then the the hoof on this back one is that triangular shape attached ooh to another little <laughs> thrown off there we go and this one's slightly higher slightly higher than the, the this other one over here but i for, i missed a joint this should be slightly be higher. That's uh, all right. Okay, shade it all in. As it is further back, I'm just going to shade it slightly, and then add the little hairs. There's little hairs down here. All right, that's it. Whew, one more leg. One more leg to go. Here we go. The last leg. The last leg on this. Here we go. And then you can see the hoof on this other side coming back and down. And then it's all shaded as well because it's behind, it's back there. Almost bends like a finger. There it is. That's it. Make that joint. All right. All we need is the tail, and then we're done. The tail. All right. So the top part swoops up and around. And then underneath, uh, all this is where the, there's like little triangles for the hair. Coming down, down, and down. There's three of them right there like that. And it's shaded. And shade it real quick. There we go. And there's our horse. Wow. That was a challenge. That was a challenge. All right, I think I'm going to pick up this pace. Uh, let's do this cow, the cow face up here. 
there's a cow face up here. I'm going to do the cow face. All right, so here's the cow face. Here's a circle. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I'll do this one fast. There's a circle, and then the whole kind of face of that cow is, is attached to it. So this, I see this shape here, this shape. Oh, I see the circle shape, and then I see the shape of that, uh, the muzzle. Is that what we can call it, the muzzle? Then it's got the neck. And then we've got the ears. The ears are kind of like, uh, they're really rounded, rounded, attached that there. And then this one goes out and in. And the horns, one there. And the other one over there. Going off my page a little bit. All right. And I can see the middle of this circle. Again, this one, the, this circle, this eye is facing us like, right? It's almost like in the circle, the eye is like in the center of that because it's a three-quarter view. This is facing us. And then this eye, other eye back here is, is right on that side. We've got one nostril here and another nostril over here sticking out a little bit, sticks out out of that uh, muzzle oval shape. Then we've got the, uh, the smile in there, right in there. All right, that's that's the structure. Really lightly done. Zoom in. There we go. Zoom in and let's draw this. All right, let's start off with the. Let's start off with the, actually. There's um, kind of like eyebrows. I'm gonna start off with these eyebrows that go kind of inside, almost like a Mickey Mouse kind of little eyebrows thing going on. And then it goes, um, the actual head of the cow comes out, and then it's attached to the ear. See, and I'm kind of like going around the shapes. Notice how it's attached, but I see the form. Then the ear, there's the ear. And then we shade it all in. It's all shaded. Usually save the shading for last. I'm getting thrown off here. Capture my composure. I hear your puppy. All right. There's a cheek in here. So this um this goes around in here. There's a cheek, just like Mickey Mouse. I think it was the style back then. Back in the 30s, 40s, or who knows? Maybe this artist is related. All right. There we go. Got that, got that. Let's get that eye in there. You're just getting this part of that eye. I drew that oval, but it's just that part that you see. And then you have this other part that goes in there like that. And then a triangle is cut out in there. There's a little triangle that's cut out. Let's see if I can get it right there. So cut out that little triangle and then shade everything else in. Shade that pupil in, that whole pupil. And that, that little triangle is the highlight. Is the highlight. It makes that light, eye look shiny. And that's the eye. There's one eye. And the other eye is kind of the same thing, but a little bit thinner. Uh, there's a little bit of a triangle, really slightly cut. And it's really small. There's almost a line. And there we go. All right. Ooh, this nostril's way up here. I'm going to bring that nostril up. Right in there, that nostril. Brought it up from where it was. And that's okay. I made that adjustment. Little circle there. And uh, should we lock the lock the room? No, I think that's it. All right. Now, on top of the not muzzle, just like Mickey Mouse, uh, the, the Mickey uh, cartoons, they have this double one like Pluto or I can't remember. They have that one and then another wrinkle to like that. There's the top onto the nostril around like that, around that circle. Put the nostril in, another little circle, and then out. Um, it sticks out right there. It comes out, brought it out a little bit. And then there's like a lip comes up so there there's that notice that double little sphere there 
And then now the bottom lip, the bottom lip, um, away, over here, right, right there. There we go. And then we got the neck. And there it is. There's the cow. I think the ear. Let me work on that ear a little bit. Um, the top of the ear. And then the bottom of the ear it has some kind of shading to it. Swoop it around a little bit more. And yeah, a little bit of shading. Ooh, there we go. A little hatch. That's it. There's our cow. All right. Let's do that dash hound. Oh, and the hot dog. What are they called? Do we need to watch the clock and remind you when to when to leave to go to your mother's? Oh no, no, not tonight. We're good. Thank you for asking. Um, no, we can go till nine o'clock. It's seven twenty-two. Yeah, we can go. That's two hours. Yeah, nine o'clock is good. All right. Thank you for asking. She's getting better too, so that's good. We did have to actually. Uh, I took her to the doctor's for a brace. I think I don't know if I was talking. I uh, mentioned it on Tuesday because it was on Tuesday. It was on Monday, actually. You, you did mention it. Yeah. But, but stories can be repeated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they, the, they was, that was really expensive. We actually had to send the, the, the uh, cancel the knee brace. Um, yeah, they wanted 200 and something dollars for it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's uh, Let's draw the head. There's a lot that's really long. It's really long. I'll probably use this whole space right in here. Let me see. Let me zoom this up. I'll move my pictures around here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Bring this up over. Here we go. That's it. Now I can see what, what you can see. And now we've got this whole space in here. And there's a lot of space. This dog is really long. It's a hot dog. And a wiener schnitzel. All right, so we've got the head. It's going to be that circle shape. That's definitely, and then you can see that the, the snout is about uh, a, a bigger than the head. It's, it's about that much. I would say like this, kind of like off the, uh, even below the center, actually. Here's a circle, nine o'clock, below nine o'clock, comes out. And it's, it's uh, if you were to draw another circle next to it, about this big, it goes out that far. You got to see these relationships. How does this, we have one shape, which is a circle. And then how does that other shape relate to that shape? Comes out this far and it's about right about there. And there's, there's wrinkles on it, but I'm not worried about the wrinkles. And then there's a little, uh, little nose circle right at that tip. But now we have this one shape. Now I can take that. I can take that. I'm going to take this whole thing and, and measure back. Well, <laughs> I'm going to run out of space because my, my cow can only go up to here. But um, I think I'll, I'll count, see how close we can get it. If I have to shrink it, I'll shrink it. But I have one. There's my one, two. Uh, let's see. So there's a, the, the head is one, and the body is one, two, and a half. So here's the head. That's my one. My head's my one. I'm using this as a measurement. Here's my one. There's one two and a half and a half which is going to probably it's going to shoot right right back there right back there just <laughs> like their picture is so that's it it's going to be way out here there we go way out there so i i took this measurement there's one two and a half so it looks about right um the body starts there's a little bit of a neck and then the body starts with another circle below this one this one's a little bit lower right in right about there then the feet kind of like a, as a triangle kind of coming out right there there's an ear but the two feet i can see is one little triangle there i'm seeing the two feet as a triangle there's a little bit of a curve up and then down there's a little bit of, actually more curves more back here to the feet better back here and there's another triangle with the two feet. Now this I'm going to have to probably, I'm going to push in just because I don't want it to, we're interfering here with this, this other drawing. So I can, it's okay if I bring it in a little bit, but there we go. There's that triangle. And then this other triangle over here for this other feet right in there. Okay. We got our two triangles and uh, the body curvy. I'm good. And uh, coming down. 
All right, there it is. So there's our structure. You can see the structure. You can see the structure, and you can see this back foot structure. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, usually go from left to right, but uh, let's try to start with this face. Let's start with the ears. The ears droop forward and droop back. So they go like this and back and like that. They're kind of attached. So notice how here right across the face, it curves in and then forward and back down. And then this eye is just like the, the, our, our um, mule eye. It's right at the tip, right? It's facing forward. So it's like right at that. Uh, you've got uh, on that side. One, two, and I'm drawing it really small. But it's, it's really, let me get it a little bigger over here. It's really just, this is all they're doing on this whole head. That, that little triangle out, and that's what that eyeball. Try to get that shape. That little triangle there, that's better. It'd be something like that. And then they've got a little line, which I, I don't know. I think I don't have enough space for it right in there. A little bit of a line. All right, let's get these. Uh, there's two, two, um, two little bumps in there, two little curves, two main ones. There's actually more, but I see these two as the main ones right there. Is there a little bit of space? There's a little one, the two main ones, and then a, a small one at the at two ends. So there's actually four, but these two main ones are the ones that I see inside those two, right? So now that I have that, I can um, put the little bumps on the nose, a little one, a bigger one, bigger one, and then another little one right to that nose. And then there's two little hairs off of that. That's all right. A little bit of a smile. And then um, and then all the whole bottom just comes up like that right there. Bam. And then a little bit of a mouth. Right in there. Let's get the back of the head. Round it out a little more. And then all this is shaded. I'll just shade it right now. The ear. And then there's another ear behind. Interesting. Right in here. Speaking of overlapping, right in there, there's another ear. Really? And it's a little darker because it's further back. There it is. There's our head. Now we're ahead. So I see the body, this is the, the torso, I guess. Yeah, that would be the torso. And then the legs come out of that torso. The neck is attached to that. It's a little bit of a droop. Then it goes around that circle. Then it swoops up and over to the end over here. There it is, and it swoops around. It swoops around, so it goes up, swoops around. Then it goes forward and back, forward and back. And then you have that toe that's inside that triangle. That right in there, that triangle part. And you've got the other toe, actually the other foot comes back here behind my tail. And then it goes forward. There we go. And that's shaded. There's the two back feet. Let's get that tail in there. Simple line tail right in there. Make this into a make this into a hot a little balloon. Okay. I like that. Should we do the legs first? Yeah, let's do the legs here first. So this comes up and attached. And then this leg just comes back. And there we go, just like that. There's one. And the other one is behind. Right in there like that. And it's shaded. This has a little paw to it. 
And then let's get this uh, over here. Here we go. The body. As it comes onto the body, you want to try to capture that that feel. This this it, it does get wider as it comes up. It does get wider as it goes forward. Um, like in here, tapers. This taper, this feel of that taper is really important to this dog. Uh, I think I made it more, but made it taper more. But it does give it more of a solid, solid feel. All right, there it is. Which one next? Oh, let's do that lion. It's all good. Got disconnected. Sorry about that. Can I see the other one? I, I missed it. I got disconnected. Oh, uh, which one? The cow? Oh, the cow and the, uh, the burro. And the burro. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can I see the cow now? Oh, that's like a cartoon cow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll put it in the chat again. I'll put the picture in the chat again. Let me get the picture. Uh, in Genesis. All right, and put it in the chat. Oops, to everybody. Or yeah, I'll put it to everybody. In case we got somebody that just come just coming in. Oops. Well, that's the. <laughs> let me put it in again. That's the that's the link to the picture, and here's the picture. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Let's do that lion. Let's do that lion. Let's do the lion. There we go. Lion. Lion's going to go here. I can see the head. The head is the head is like a, a circle shape. Look at that circle shape. And then the body is in that same that same space. I'm looking at and uh, the body's going to kind of be like it's below it, but I can see that space below, and um, even from the middle of that circle. I'm just, that's helping me to get, whoops, helping me get uh, this whole space. See, that's that's where the head's going to be. And the body compared to that head is about the same. Or it comes out about that far. And I have it going up there, but the body starts below, below the center of, uh, of, our, of our circle there. And then it uh, comes out. Here's one foot. I would say this is one foot here. And then uh, comes out to the body. The body's there. This back foot comes out right about there. And actually, there's a little bit of a band. There's an oval shape there. Another oval shape here. Oops, let's actually bring it lower. And uh, you see, I can I can make these adjustments. How I'm light, I'm sketching. I'm sketching pretty light. Get that roundness of that body. Right in there, that's that roundness kind of it kind of zooms up. It kind of um, the axis line looks like it's uh, the center axis line looks like it's going up, and that follows that tail, and then it's down here, down, down to that uh, big part of that tail. Yeah, right about there. That looks good. Make sure the legs line up. So there you go. Oh, that's good. Make it look like he's solid. Then he's got this other back foot right about in there, and this other foot coming in right in there like that. All right. Now the head. Okay. So the head, the the mane, the mane kind of does uh, look like it's coming out, and I'm seeing this as one big shape, one big shape here. The mane kind of comes around all this around there. That's all this the mane. A little bit like a triangle there. And then it goes all the way around. Here, there's about a, a cheek. There's like a cheek that's right about there. There's the angle of that uh, making them look mean. And then it's attached right in there like that. So that cheek goes around that. And then there's that uh, snout. It's right in here. It's not right in there. That shape. Then you've got the nose. The nose right in there that's it the nose and again i'm seeing the big shapes i'm not worried about all the little bumps and everything i'm trying to see the big shapes the big shapes the hair is going to kind of come up around around like that yeah and then there all right i like that i like that all right so i'm going to go ahead and start let's start with this eye i'm going to start with this eye we've got this um uh i don't know what it is eyelid eyebrow Eyelash, 
but that's going up and down like that. And then we've got that infamous little stylized eye. It's it's a uh, it's it's an oval shape with a triangle cut out of it again, like that. Oops. It's this oval shape with a triangle cut out of it. So if you can get that oval shape in there, oval shape that goes under because it's cut off with that uh, eyelash, eyelid, and then uh, get that triangle that's in there and then shade all that in. There's the eye. That's it. That looks good. That's a good spot for it. Notice how it all fits. You can almost see like this, uh, this like a letter E almost. Like the gangsters right out here. It looks like it. It's rounded and then a little squared bottom. All right, we got the eye. Let's get that snout. It has uh, two bumps. I think at least two bumps. So I'm going to put one bump and then another bump right under that eye. Right in there. One, two. And then it goes to the uh, the nose. Nose in there. It's got that shape. Um, <clears throat> it's almost uh, like this shape, actually. Let's see. Let's see where am I? There we go. It's almost like a circle but with a little bit of a. I'm exaggerating. And it looks like this, like that. Like that. That's the kind of shape. And then it's got the highlight. And then everything's shaded around it. So let's get that little highlight in there. Little circle and then shade everything else around it. There we go. That's it. Let's get that. Uh, I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. See here, I'm going to bring it out. As I can see, I'm looking back and forth in my picture. It needs to come out a little bit more right in there. So I can make those adjustments all the way over here. It's got an interesting um, smile. It goes there, and then uh, the teeth comes down and back and up. And you can see two, two, two teeth, two lines for the teeth. There's one right here and the other one over here. There it is. And that's attached right there. A little bit of a wrinkle for that cheek right above it. And then we've got the bottom lip. My bottom lip. And the chin. And the cheek, whoa, the cheek is way up here. Let's, let's go ahead with the cheek. There it is. A little bit of a space, and that's it. All right, let's get this hair in there. I think, uh, yeah, this is still good. I, I might have to bring that chin hair down a little bit. That uh, part of the main chin hair, <laughs> that's not chin hair. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go around. I'm going to, um, on this circle space right in there, notice how much space is in here. I'm going to uh, do that main. I just kind of go back and forth, kind of like this. There's a lot of more main here. There's one main one up here. Capture that back and forth. Let's see the, the gap. Comes down. Let's get this tip of this this one right here. Could you draw when you finish this one? Could you draw quick, just really quickly, another face on him to make him less mean? <laughs> yeah. I want a happy. I want a happy face one. You want a happy face one? All right, we'll do a happy face. Please. <laughs> happy face lion. Now I feel like I, I'm going to have to put more hair on him. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. So I'm looking at this and this the hair needs to come out more. The hair needs to come out more. I'm, so I'm bringing it out even more. Making those adjustments and then 
There we go. Now shading all that in. See how I made that adjustment? I mean, I don't, I just kind of have to see it. I look back and forth and say, hey, wait a minute, that ain't right. And then I just, I made that adjustment on the fly, brought it out more. If you have to do that, do that. Make those adjustments, look back and forth, do the best you can, and then just let it go, let it go, let it go. I said, I did my best. I looked at it, I saw the adjustments that I needed to do, and bam, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. All right, where's the next drawing? Where's the next drawing? All right, all right, I don't like him. He looks too mean. All right, let's make him happy. Let's try to make him happier. The next drawing. All right, here we go. That's the head. That looks pretty good. I'm getting a good feel now. Here, this is a little bit too small last time. Let me zoom out. Do I need to zoom out? Move, move my whole paper up. There we go. Let's focus on the body. Focus on the body, body everybody all right so i'm going to double check everything so i've got my head um i double check there's that foot and see how it relates and how it fits yes it's looking good um this other foot back here this down there this is coming this way probably bring it forward a little bit and then back that's good like i like the way it fits and feels and looks there we go so let's uh let's do this so let's start with this foot. Uh, go up and down. Let's, you can see the bottom of it. You can see that oval shape right there. Let's, there's the foot coming up. Well, there's a bit of a gap, but um, I did it all the way through. There's, there's, there's that leg. I'll probably put some more hairs over it, but. There's that leg. Here's the body, the feel of that form, feel of that oval shape comes up. It does come up a little bit sooner because that back leg, you can see this back leg right in here. See the back leg comes up and there's a gap right there. Then it attaches itself to the tail. You skip the tail and then you do the back part of that. Uh, there we go. That's it. And then. And then the tail swoops, comes down, swoops, comes down. I'm going to a little bit higher. There we go. There's that, that uh, dark part of that tail. All right. This back leg uh, goes thin to thick which is a little different usually it goes from thin, thick to thin but it's tapering opposite so it's going thin and it goes wider as it comes out all right then on that back leg there we go just like that there we go just like that there's that it's a little bit of a band here, a little bit of a band, and then a little bit of a shadow back here. There's a little shadow. He's, uh, so it doesn't look like he's floating. All right, the last back legs. We'll start with this one first. It's kind of hard to see what kind of uh, form it has. It's really, really interesting. It's all, I don't know, it's all over the place. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and simplify it, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is this. You can see the paws on this one. Do a little bit of a paw. And then there's a little bit of a band up on top right in there. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. And then there's a little bit of shadow. And this leg totally gets lost in there. But now I, my spacing is wrong. It looks like my, my spacing is wrong. So that's okay. I'm going to um, see what it would look like. I'm gonna, I would put a, a paw right there. And bring this back and then add it up. There it is. And a little bit of shading, too, to push it back. Look right in there. Pushes it back. A little bit of shading. There it is. There he is. Rawr. All right, let's do a happy face. <laughs> a happy lion. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do this a little quick. Here's the head. Here's the... Uh, it's really the eyebrows that really make um, 
uh, I don't know if you want to surprise or what. I'm going to round this out, round this out. This rounding this out would make it a little bit more um, not so mean. And we can actually make it more of a smile as well. Mm -hmm. Here's the nose. Mm -hmm. Rounding it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to make it just round. I'm not going to do the triangle part. And then we're going to make them smile. We're going to give them a smile this way. And that cheek. And then we're going to attach the nose. There's the nose. And that shape, kind of like a bulb. It's kind of like a bulb. A bulb shape. There's the nose. And then um, one bump, two bumps. And then uh, we can actually even add an ear if you wanted to. Well, I don't know if it'll look right. And then now uh, the, the mouth, the smile. A <laughs> happy lion. Roar. You know, the MGM lion was actually stored near here, near where I live. One of them, there was a couple. And when the Selig Zoo, the Selig Zoo, actually one of Ali's first, actually Ali's first zoo was here as well, which is now Lincoln Park. But if you look up Selig, Selig Zoo, that's all right. So here's the chin. Uh, the lip, I'm sorry, that's the lip. Then the chin. And then we're going to go around here. All this around. That's the cheek. What really makes him look like a lion is that mane. That mane. <laughs> He's smiling here. All right, so we've got that mane again. Just up and around. Around this way, try to capture that. And that that chin, that that hair on below it is what kind of looks. <laughs> he looks more like a a hedgehog, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. That smile. But I don't know if I have a little lion ear in here. I don't know. I'm just saying, if I had an ear, I would put like something like that. Lion, lion. Try to get that hair and just shade it all in. There's the lion. All right, we'll take a request for another uh, animal. I think maybe we just do two. I'm not sure. We've got a cow, so another cow. We've got a cat. Ooh, the cat looks cool. Well, let's see, what do we got? Uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh. I raised, I killed a dragon. I trained a dragon. I raised a dragon. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make this lion sitting down just for the heck of it. Let's put a little bit of a, a leg here. And I always like to have that kind of main, well, main attraction. A little bit of an elbow. Out of room here, but it's all good. A little bit of a tail. Like almost a, almost a heart shape. I almost got a heart shaped tail on this. There's my my lion. That makes it look more like a lion. There we go. All right, happy lion. <clears throat> All right, I like the bird for our next drawing. Okay, which one's the bird? Oh, uh, the crow or the duck? We got a crow. Oh, uh, the crow. Yeah, the crow. All right, let's do the crow. Let's do the crow. We're out of space on my paper. Let's uh, draw the crow. I like the second lion's body. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it makes it look, well, it makes it look cuddlier. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, so for this crow, we've got the head. Uh, again, a circle shape for the head. Start off with that circle shape. 
And then um, the beak kind of comes out almost like a triangle right in there at this angle, almost like an ice cream. Look at that. It looks like an ice cream. And then um, the, the other part of the, the mouth, it's open. It's going to go underneath that. Then we've got the body. The body's coming right out of this side, right in here. Right in here is that body, kind of like an oval shape about that space. <clears throat> so there's the head and there's the body. And then you got one foot coming up forward and then another foot back here. Let's bring this foot down. Let's bring this down a little bit and bring this one up. Notice the relationship of these two. This should be up a little bit higher, lower. And then I can see this whole, this whole big shape is one shape. And the tail, the tail is going to be up in here. Yeah, you want to be able to zoom in, zoom out, be able to see big shapes, little shapes as you, you know, be able to kind of, as you practice that, get faster at that, seeing the, the big shape and seeing like the shape is one shape there. All right. That's how we just blocked it in. Uh, it's got a hat. It's got a hat. All right, let's start again. It's a three-quarter view. So the eye is uh, right there where that is, like right in the center. And then you've got the other eye on that side. Same style. So we're going to do that right in there. Here's my eye right in the middle of that circle. And again, there's that contact with a little triangle cut out of it. There's the triangle. Shade it in. It's a pretty big eye. And then right in there. I think I widen it a little bit more than it like the original is. It's all good. Then this one again, here's another one right next to it, right next to that eye. Get that triangle to line up. There's that triangle. And then get that other little eye on this side, a little bit thinner. There it is. And there's the other eye. And there's my eyes. It's got a little triangle between the eyes. And then it goes around and down. That's it, down and around. Um, here, let's do the beak. The beak, the beak, the beak kind of just comes up between the two eyes, a little bit like that. And then it comes down to a point and then curves back right in there. Right like that. All right, here's a nostril. There's a nostril. And then we've got um, the, uh, let's do the cheek, a little bit of a cheek goes around like that. And then we've got uh, the bottom part of the bill just swoops around and just swoops in that spot, that little spot right there. And there's the outside. And then we've got the inside. Whoops. And then we've got the tongue, like a, like a line for a tongue or something in there. Kind of like that. All right, let's add a little more hair on the side. There's a little more hair. Let that in. And then we've got uh, the hat. The hat. Okay, so first the brim of the hat. The brim right on top of that. That's, that'll be the brim right to that part of the eye. And then you've got the hat, the hat, the hat, the hat. This kind of comes up like that. Maybe the other side of the brim. Oh, there we go, like that too. There's the hat and shade it all in. It looks like it's highlighted. It looks like there's a light bouncing on it. So there's a little bit of reflected light on the right side. And it looks like it has some highlights like right down the middle like that. 
So notice these three lines. These two lines here kind of get that highlight that's in the middle. I'm going to shade the left of that. Then I'm going to shade the middle of that. And I'm going to um, bring that middle out a little bit more, like a reflected light. There it is. See? And it reminds me of a watermelon or something. Well, kind of like shiny, that shape right there. There's the hat. <laughs> All right. There's the bird. There's no wings. All right. I like that. I like that. All right. So here we go. Uh, this foot, I'm going to, should I bring it up? Looks like it needs to go higher. Making some adjustments. Anyways, it should go higher. I've got this oval, oval right in there, that oval going back and forth. Notice back and forth, back and forth. There's my oval and it's got a thickness to it. So it makes it kind of like a cylinder. These two lines right here. We've got the top part. And then this part here, kind of like a coin. The coin is really a cylinder, really flat, flat cylinder. There it is. That's what a coin is. That's what that looks like, a coin. Then you've got the foot that attaches itself to that from down here. Bam, bam, just like that. And that's a good way of, of drawing from your imagination is, is knowing how to draw the forms and knowing where to put them. All right. So here's the body. Up underneath, underneath that uh, bill. There's the top part. Then we got the tail feathers. There's one. I'm moving it over a little bit. And then we've got the other one. Bring it out. Okay, that's fine. And then we've got this back foot, this back leg. Back leg kind of sticks out a little bit. It kind of it kind of goes out and then in, kind of like that. So let's do that. It just comes in here and uh, put like these little coils on them. Coil, 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 and then uh, this foot. This foot is attached and goes back this way. Bam. I think that's a shadow. It's not a like a toe or something. There's a little bit of a shadow underneath. And I think this should have been up a little bit higher. I don't know. It's all good. All right, here we go. Shade it in. There's our little crow. All right, eight o'clock, eight o three. Thank you for joining us. If you uh, let's see, let's see what we're gonna do. Ooh, the cat chasing the dog. That that's a cute dog, actually. There's a bunch of dogs. There's a, a bear. Let's see what we're gonna do next. We got a fish. We got a duck. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, the elephant. Uh, I like drawing the bird for our next drawing. Okay, bird. Which bird? Oh no, that was the bird. <laughs> Take another request. One more request. Then we got angry dog, angry bear. I'm not gonna do the angry birds. We got let's we can do the duck. The duck. Let's do the duck or the fish. Let's do the duck. All right, I'm gonna draw the duck. The duck, the duck. Here we go. I was slow pushing the right buttons, but over oh, go ahead. But I was Which gonna one? vote for I was gonna vote for the fish because it's I tried drawing it and it's it's hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do the fish. Let's do the fish. I was going to see the, the <laughs> and and of course, and of course, cats are always cute. But yeah. but you were going to say something. No, oh, yeah, no, I had a duck joke. <laughs> the oh. duck, that, the duck that went into the store. He went to go buy uh, some some uh, lip balm, and he said, "Oh, put it on my bill." Not that funny, but. <laughs> I don't know where these jokes come from. <laughs> I just remember them. And they just, I just got to get them out. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't even know if that made sense. Put it on my bill. It was a lip, lip, lipstick. He went to go buy lipstick. He put it on my bill. That's the name of his, 
anyways i have to explain it. it's not funny all right well this what makes this hard is is the the shape of the head so that's what we're going to focus on i'm going to focus on that shape of the head so i'm going to start off with an oval shape this oval shape here all right it's because it's complex so we have this oval shape and then um from that oval shape it, it, it swoops down it swoops down and um and there we go right there that's it the lips are kind of attached to that all right so it's got a lip that kind of goes right in there so that oval shape should kind of help a lot because then from here that kind of comes down to kind of like a point and then it's got um uh, let's put a line underneath that right under there kind of like the lip i don't know what that is went maybe a little too thin that's okay and then it's got that lip that kind of goes around it, around that. And then you've got another uh, triangle right underneath it, or like a, um, yeah, what's up? No, we're drawing. I know. All right, so here you can see this uh, triangular shape now. This other cheek on this other side, I'm going to put it on the side. You can kind of see this uh, triangular shape. This is kind of like triangle, but it's rounded. Those 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 parts are rounded. So here we go. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more, then bring it out, then bring it in, and then bring it out and around, right in there like that. It's got this kind of like mouth that kind of. It's in that triangle. It does go in. It's like squeezed. And then, and let's draw the inside of that. It's got a tongue. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. All right, so this one's got a classic tongue. Um, it's almost like a heart tongue. It's come, coming curved like that. There's one curve. And then the other curve right in there like that. And that's it, like a heart, heart shape like that. And then we shade all this other stuff in, shade it in real quick. And that's it. All right, so um, the eyes, it's almost like, again, a three-quarter view, like right down the center of that part right there, that, right down that center. Like that. And have one eye right in there. The other eye is going to be right in here as well, if I were to put them together. But down the middle is where that kind of is. Then the other one's a little bit smaller to the right. And then, uh, let's see this body. This body is going to um, come out here and in here like that. And kind of, uh, <laughs> it's going to run into our, our uh, crow here. Let's see. So we can get this body right. There we go. It should swoop. See, I, I'm seeing this as one shape here. This and then uh, the other shape, the parts. When you're seeing this, you want to see this as parts and whole, right? So I see this as one part, and then I can also see the fins that are on it. This this shape here is the structure, and what makes it confusing is the stuff that's on it. So if you can see this structure, this football shape. That's the that's the important part, because then uh, you've got some fins that are on it down here. Then you've got some fins uh, that are on on it up up in here, up on top, right in there. See that that's that's what confuse. But you want to see the structure, and then you've got the tail. Uh, we're gonna have to fake it. <laughs> but uh, problem solution, a little bit of a quick solution there. Not a great solution, but uh, actually it's not. Yeah. It would have been better if I would have planned it out better. Planning, bad planning. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. All right, so there's there's the body. And then the tail just kind of uh, comes out as a triangle off of that. Uh, a triangle. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. A triangle for that fish this top one a little bit thinner right in there right in there there it is so we're almost there that's that's the whole thing now we can just draw it in 
let's draw it in. Uh, ready? Again, keeping with our theme, right? there's our left, that left eye, our little triangle, like that. And then um, there's that eye fitting in right there. And it's like resting on the, the line right there. Let's to the other eye, it's smaller and a little further back. Right in there. There it is. I'll put another little line there too. All right, it has our little Mickey Mouse. Um, Little, little vampire, little, I don't know what you want to call it, little hairline right in there. And then it comes up and around. And then it attaches itself to this cheek. There we go. Bam. <laughs> Bam. There it is. So there's the head of the fish, the fish lips. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, because you get all these this fin stuff, and then if you don't, if you you can lose the form, you can lose the the, the solid drawing that you want to get from that. And just then here, just add the fins, and then uh, shape it's a little bit darker now, as I like it. I can go darker. Oops. There we go. Another little. Bump in there. A little bump. Change it that way. There he is. He's got two spots. One right about there, and another one right about there. That size, that big. And then it's just shaded in. All right. Eight, ten, one. My. There it is. Oh, I had another one over here. And I had a little bit of sharpen my pencil with the blade. There we go. All right, good night, Valerie. Thank you for joining us. All right. Shade it all in. Man, all right. Let's get to. Um, I can't say it's eight eight ten. We've we're past our time here, so we're gonna go to the. Um, let's go to the hop. Let's go to. Uh, <laughs> for a little worm, with those same eyes. No, we're gonna go to um, our our uh, our next little drawing. So, well, we'll see what's on tap <laughs> as we uh, draw this worm. <laughs> the same style as uh, but see these are cross contour lines because I understand form I, I I'm understanding this this form here this little worm and uh, the way the way these lines are going around that form oh in in uh was it middle school I think middle school yeah middle school junior high school we we uh we operated on a worm. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Was the operation successful? The operation was successful. <laughs> okay, we've got um, this, uh, share my screen. We've got a character here. Here we go. That's it, oh, okay. Wow, that looks interesting. I share my whole screen. There we go. Copy image address. Go over here. Paste. Yep, there it goes. All right, cool. Wow. Now you can see this uh, the height and the width, the, the ratio on here on this uh, character. It's uh, going to be a bit of a challenge, but let's let's break them down. 
Edward G. Robinson, Edward 1930s G. gangster yeah, wow. uh, actor. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, see, did he have, did he talk like that? I think so. All right, so I got my circle in here. You can see the circle, how it fits right in there. Notice how that that's really close to that uh, part right there. And then here, the, the, the way the cheeks kind of just swoop out the eyeball in there. This will get us going. Let's break that in half. Let's add the axis lines right in here. You can see that uh, this, this eye is lower. It's good to see this as one big shape. You want to see these as big shapes. Let's see these big shapes. That really helps. And I can almost even, if I were to straighten it out, uh, kind of see this as a, a shape like that too. There we go. Kind of like that with the chin sticking out. Kind of like that in the ear way up here. This angle here, there's a little bit of a curve, but you can see the flow of this line kind of like in this direction. And this kind of flowing this in the direction too, but a little slight curve to it, right? But it's mostly straight. A lot of times we exaggerate those curves, but if you just get that curve, notice that line on that back. I, it just totally covers that curve, but it's really just a slight curve. It's just slight, but it's kind of like there. You don't want to lose the form of the body by doing it too curved. You want to see this big form stuff and then slightly curved there. All right, let's uh, screenshot that and let's draw it. Let's screenshot this. There we go. Where's my chat? There it is. All right. So, uh oh. Where's my tools? Oh, I know why. Everyone, there we go. There's my tools. There we go. Oh, that was a personal one. Capture. All right. Here we go. Let's stop sharing. Let's start drawing. All right, here we go. Next, next, next. Ooh, we're on for a tough one here. No, that's not that tough. We broke it down. We broke it down. We broke it down. We broke it down. Let's see. Let's zoom out. There we go. All right. Start off with our circle. There's our circle. Take on this challenge. We got this. We got this. And then we got that. There's our circle. Then we got the cheeks kind of coming out here. The cheeks coming right about there. Notice right where how it comes in. It's right in there. And then this angle. This angle there. A circle is a circle, no matter how big or small you draw it. But once we add this shape, we are adding um, proportions. How big is this shape compared to that circle, right? Is it really thin? Is it really small? I don't know. You got to have to get the feel. I can actually, I don't know. We can actually take, uh, see how far it comes out and then measure it, compare it to the actual circle. But I'm just eyeballing it and, and, and capturing that angle here. And then the chin, that's going to go right in here. The chin, it's going to go right in there. And then we've got the center of that line, the center of that circle up here. Then we've got the eyes that are going to kind of be in this area in here. The eyes. <clears throat> eyes are going to kind of be in this area. <laughs> the hair does stick out. It does come out a little bit. It come out a little bit. we got the ear that's way up in here. It goes above our center line. The ear kind of comes up here, fitting right there. It's attached to that whole space. And then the neck and then the back and this whole triangle body. It's coming out this way and this way and the tie. There it is. That's our blocked in. We have it blocked in. Didn't really mention the nose, but the nose is kind of like in here at this angle i see this angle Ooh, that angle and that coming out and then the lips the lips in here all right okay all right let's do this all right so i'm going to focus on the eyes uh, i've kind of got it all blocked out i'm not uh, too comf uh, confident of this whole area in here but uh, we'll just go ahead and do it 
I think I think I, I think yeah, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I, I've got the spacing for it. Um, so I'm gonna start off here with his nose. This nose I just put in. That's there we go. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go up to here, and get this eyebrow in. We get that where that eyebrow is down to the nose, and then this nose, the curve of the nose is important, and it comes down like that. That curve of that nose, and then it's um. And then it swoops right in there like that. This is a little more advanced, a little more advanced. If you haven't drawn noses and you haven't drawn faces, it might be a little bit of a challenge. This nose comes over and it swoops and it kind of like swoops in and cuts in and then it curves out the other way, right? It swoops around this way, like the letter J right here. It looks like a letter J. And then here it swoops like a rainbow. And then here it swoops like a, a, like, like a letter C. So here's a C, here's a rainbow or like an S, and then a J boom, in that direction. And then here we're going to go ahead and do the eyebrow uh, on that right in here. Yes, see? This eyebrow right in there, and it goes wider as it comes up. Just like that right in there. And this, this eyebrow goes outside of that circle shape. See, outside that circle shape. Yeah, you see? And then this whole eye shape right in here, look at that, it sticks out like, like that, like this oval shape right in there. Bam. There's that eye right back up there. And then um, this eye, that's the whole brow, actually. That's the that part then you have this eye I'll, I'll i'll wait for a second i'm kind of going fast edward g robinson was also a major collector of art he was uh very sophisticated for a man who played gangsters yeah you say uh, right. so we're gonna do one eye let's do the eye I'm like right in there I'm like that and then he's got the pupil right in there like that this is quite a caricature it's this is a caricature of a character there's that one eye and i can see the space of this cheek that's going to go in here i can feel it so that's good the lips that's good the chin and um, i i focus in and out i focus in and out and i can see that other cheek in here there that looks good i can see the big shapes little shapes and i'm going back and forth then I would have that other, that uh, this line in here, that uh, left line, I guess, left line, another left line over here, the lips, yeah, it's all coming together, it's all coming together, I can feel, I can feel this form, this shape, boom, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> awkward, well, you feel the shapes, yeah, it, it, uh once you draw for a while, you kind of start, you're getting the, you feel the form, you feel the form. I don't know. You, it's it's awkward. It's not. It's it's really weird. like here. This this circle becomes a, a sphere. It's a ball. And I can feel that solidness uh, as I kind of like draw on it. Really bizarre. I've got this angle that comes up here. I've got this other eye, eyebrow. Let me see if I've got the original. There it is, right there. Oh, perfect. Side by side. Wish you could see what I see. All right, there we go. Yeah, that would be cool. Huh, that'd be interesting. Well, we'll see. One of these days, I have to play around with that a bit. Okay, so I uh, want to make sure that this eye uh, does, it looks like it's related to this eye. And I, I can see this eye is right here. The other eye is right across from it, a little, maybe a little bit higher. It's going to be right in there. I'm, I'm looking back and forth. I see them separately and I see them as one. Um, and like if you're new here, I mean, I see this, like this is what I see. I can see um, like this, you, everybody sees one dot. You can see two dots, but can you see a line? Can you imagine a line? Then you see three dots. Can you imagine a triangle? But four dots, can you imagine, um, you know, a square? Can you imagine four triangles? Can you imagine, kind of kind of almost have to use your imagination, kind of go back and forth. And uh, it's kind of, kind of like that is what's going on in my brain as I, as I look at this. And I can see how big things are and how small things are. 
and I can see that eye is kind of kind of go right there. This eye eye uh, brow comes up at that angle, and then comes down at that angle right there. And I can see it. I did it lightly, and I'm looking back and forth to make sure that that's where I want it. I actually did change it a little bit from what I had. It's got these big, heavy eyebrows. Uh, this one's really an interesting eyebrow. It's uh, it's uh, in and then up and down. See that? This is round. This rounded part. It's like ooh, it's like a letter S, kind of like a letter S. See, swoops and then down. There we go. Then we've got uh, this thickness. And then um, the tapers, the tapers. So it kind of um, follows that downward and then comes up and then it tapers down, tapers down on that whole eyebrow path. There it is, the shade, all that highbrow, big, heavy eyebrow in that spot. Did I do it thick, too thick? I might have done it thicker than it should have been. That's all good. All right, so here goes that eye now. You got the bottom part of that eye. And then you got the pupil. It's like right on top of that. And then the top part of that eye just kind of rounded right in there. There we go. See the eyes line up. Eyes line up. And we're happy. All right, let's get those uh, lips. I can see the cheeks. I can see the head. I can see how it all fits. And the, the lips are going to be in there. The lips kind of go from here, because I can see there in this parentheses of the the parentheses of the uh, that smile. We're gonna go um, down and then up and then down and then up right in here like that, like, like a mustache. That's that lip line. That's the lip line. And then uh, the top lip is just uh, let you get that lip line in there, lip liner. And then you've got the top lip. And the top lip is just rounded. It just goes up and around like that. Oops. And then the spacing is really important. I think the spacing, I don't know. This You might have a trouble because I didn't really describe this too well. I got my spacing pretty good. It's, it's a little bit tight. It's probably a little bit closer than it should be. Slightly closer. He's got these two lines. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't describe that in there, so I apologize. The distance between this lip and the nose. But it's going there. There's that top lip, and then the bottom lip is really simple. It's just a, a little line across like that. There he is. He's got the pouting lips. Got, he's got the former president lips. All right, that's it. That looks good. I think I can now I can actually even I can put that cheek in here. See right in here, this line. And then it just goes up and uh, onto that shape that right there. There's that cheek, one cheek, one cheek down. Here's the other chin. Then, and then the size of the side of the head. Uh, here, the side of the head, ooh, this line here, it swoops. I'm seeing this whole line, this whole shape in here, this whole shape right in here. See, I'm adding to it right in there like that. And did it lightly right in there. I can get that feel, that flow. The flow of this line is really nice as it comes up right up there. Getting that feel of that flow. And I'm feeling this shape, this shape, this form. See, I actually pushed it out a little bit more than, than, than when I started with. There it is. See, I can feel that flow of that line right in there. Bam, let's put it in. Oh, I even went further out. There it is. And then he's got the hair. He's got the ear. So the ears up in here, I'm going to have to bring it out a little bit more. Bring it out and then attach. And see, it's, a, it's above the nose. Oh, it's above the nose. So it's up here and it's some sums are slightly off. But it's all right. There we go. Oh, he's got a little uh, sideburn, a sideburn right in there. Sideburn, I almost lost that sideburn. Lost that sideburn. And then the thickness of the line is a little bit thicker down here. Then you have the neck. 
over here. There's the neck. So here's the ear. There's the ear. Then I'm going to do the hair. I'm going to do it lightly. So you're trying to get that mass in there. That hair kind of comes up uh, towards this center right in here. So somebody understands form. This form would kind of like if this was a ball, that's that would be that center line down the nose and stuff. Yeah, see, this comes from drawing spheres and uh, with cross sections. See that that whole line right in there. Even a, you can see the moon shape right in here, that triangle shape in there. Then this hairline, or this hair, not hairline, but the hair. Then it's kind of like a part shape or the part, the part of the hair coming up and over down to right about there. I'm doing it really light just to lock it in, making sure it's right. Once it's right, then I'll go darker. There's that hairline right in there. I see this as a line. And right there. Here's this neck. Got to add the neck. See, I have to, I'm going to bring this. I have that line in. The angle's right, but the placement's wrong. So I'm just going to bring it down as far as placement. But my angle's right. See, there it is. Bam. Yeah, angles, once you get an angle, yeah. I did bring it up a little bit. Angles don't change too much. Yeah, because you can have something really small and really big. The angles will still be the same. All right, so there's two parts to this tie. Or should we finish the hair? Let's finish the hair. Let's finish the hair and finish the face. And then we'll do that. Yeah, we're almost done with this. Wow, not too shabby. Looking pretty good. Boom. Let's do this hair. These hairs sticking up here. There's one. I don't know how many. Two. But I'm just going to just try to get the feel for them and try to get them to line up. I don't know how many I did, how many there are. And there's a little bit of a gap. And then the hair. Recedes or goes to a point. Yeah, let's see. Cedar. There we go. That whole shape, and then I can shade it all in. Damn. Just draw for fun. Faces are tough. You know, we see faces all day, and if something's off, we know something's off. But people don't know why it's off or how it's off. They're like, hey, that doesn't look like, okay, well, what can I do to fix it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Most people don't know. All right, that hair comes down and around, and the way it attaches, notice how it attaches to this forehead right in there. There's the forehead. And the way it wraps around, really nicely drawn, very nice uh, feel to that. The way it curves out here, curves up and over all those hair, that hair. And then it goes into dark, all this was darker as it comes to the other side. Wow. Can you believe we're in April now? April. It's summer's here. It's going to be in the 80s. In the 80s out here this weekend. Monday. All right, there's the head. And it looks pretty good. Uh, could be a little bit. I'm looking. Yeah, I got it. You know what? It's my keyboard. I need to. Once I yeah, once I fix my lights and everything, I'll, I'll get a better view of what I'm drawing. See, this angle's right, but I need to bring it up higher. You see this angle? That's the angle for the back. I got it correctly, but it's a little more like this. And then there's a little bit more of that curve. There it is. See, that's the angle. But there's that curve. There's that back. I'm trying to make that solid, solid one piece. And then here's the tie. There's two parts to it. And it tapers, kind of comes down. And it goes like that. There's that part of that tie. That part, that top tie, there's one. And then notice how I got that to taper. And that's just practice, 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 practice. There's that. And there's three lines of dots. 
I'm going to get to, if I find the center one, then below and above, and then it's just dots. There's three dots on that top line, one, two, three. And I don't even know how many on the other one. I'm just going to, not even looking. I'm just <laughs> doing it. There it is. There it is. There's that top tie. And then the bottom one. Uh, the bottom. There we go. Right about, yeah, it looks like it's right about there. Could you go up a smidge, please? Yeah. There, right there. That tie. And then uh, all the dots on this one. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of dots. But the lines are going in this direction. So I'm going to try to get the lines first. But the lines are kind of going in this direction. Right in there. Kind of like that. And one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm not even going to look. I'm just, I know they're on here. Actually, they're a little further apart. A little further apart, but I know they're on this line. All these lines are in there, and then that's a that's the pattern. I saw the lines. Those those lines are the pattern, pattern, pattern. I'm not worried about accuracy. Just getting that in there, and then all this is shaded. And then all this is shaded back here as well. Get my pencil down. And there he is. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, that's as far as it goes, unless I move the camera itself. Not too shabby. This eye's a little more closed, I think. Now I can look back and forth. Yeah, if I had it side by side, that would help. But uh, that's pretty good. Not too bad. Pam. All right. It's 834. I think we have time. Let's see what we got time for. Let's take a look in a book. The reading rainbow. Oh, a little kid. He's a tough one. A tough kid. There's our robot. Uh, tacos step aside coffee oh that little girl oh that i really like that one actually could we see two please uh i'm sorry all i can see is edward g i can't see what the pictures you're looking at and saying oh, oh that's yeah. great no the one the one um i'm i'm the the facebook one i really like that uh would have been a good one for um Good for oh. uh, this, yeah, the simple one. It's just an oval shape with the eyes and stuff. And then he says, I think we should do this one, not only is it the, the, not the only one not posted by me, it's cute. I think we should do this one, not only is it the only one not posted by me, it is yeah. cute. Con Constanza posted yeah. this one. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right, so you can see this one's actually pretty pretty uh, straightforward. And I remember seeing the the whole, I think there was stuff up. Oh yeah, there it is. I did translate it for everybody in yeah. French and English. <laughs> oui. That is that. All right, so what's interesting here, this is an oval shape, but um, notice how it differs from an oval, right? Here it's pushed in on this side and here it's pulled up, right? So that's what's happening here. And uh, yeah, there's maybe a, it's almost like a squeeze here. Wish I could. Um, yeah, you can see this. It's kind of squeeze there. It's almost like pulled right at this point. That cheek. It's pulled down. Let me put it this way. There you go. You can see it kind of like pulled out right there. Huh? I don't Facebook, so I didn't understand this until you explained it a lot ago. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I, I, You're like, what is he talking about? Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Let me go. Let me go. I have things to do. But yeah, she's grabbing onto, <laughs> and she's saying it. But uh, Facebook's doing nothing. It's just there collecting information. All right. There we go. 
Yeah, we had that other drawing that was a little more advanced, and I think somebody said, we're going to draw this, and they disappeared. It's all good. Yeah, I know. Listen, yeah, regulars, our regulars are here. We should have gone with this one. This one will be really quick. And then we've got, um, yeah. Oh, another thing to point out is uh, how everything fits on there. So we look for the middle. You can see the middle. The eyes are above the middle. They're kind of almost resting on the middle at an angle. But there's the middle comes down slightly, and then uh, yeah, a little bit of anger. There's a little bit of anger, a little bit of anger in those eyes, and they're definitely in the mouth. And you can see it kind of uh, mostly on the left there. All right, all right, here we go. Let's screenshot that for everybody and put it in the chat. Oh, thank you. Eladio, I think this post is about people who love Facebook and they are glued to the phone. Yes. Right? Right. <laughs> That's what it's about. They're glued to the phone and they, uh, they can't let go. Not a point. Yeah, thank you for choosing this, uh, this drawing. Thank you so Hi. much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for posting it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. All right, so we start off with that oval again. Here's my oval. And then I've got the arm that's going to stick out. So I'm got making sure that that fits here, that F as well, that F is going to fit on that side. And we are kind of far. Let's zoom in a little bit. Move my camera down. And I've got a bunch of lights. So I don't know, maybe we need another light on it. I've got these, uh, I've got these new incredible lights. Thanks to everybody. Um, let me see. There we go. Yeah, I can, they're positionable. They're really nice LED lights. And I've got two of them and the camera stand. All right, I don't know if that's, uh, yeah, you can see. That looks a little <clears throat> different from what we've had in the past. All right, so here's my oval. I am going to pull a little bit on it. Pull, and it's just really slight. It's really slight. It does kind of pull, it's pulling down, getting that cheek. Getting that cheek, that's all it is, is that cheek right in there. And I can see that shape right in there. I'm bringing it up a little bit because I'm noticing it should be a little bit wider as it comes around. There it is. That's good. And then the arm goes above it. That arm goes over it. Did I? So I'm still sharing. There it is. And I posted it. There we go. There we go. And it's this little cheek that I pull out, even though it's an oval shape, that's getting that little cheek, that little cheek shape. And here's that arm. It's going to swoop in here. Grab that F. That F is right in here at this angle. It does have two. It usually lines up, but they didn't have it line up. It's just a cartoon. It comes out. The bottom half is, is together right there. And then it comes down. There it swoops, so that the head is important, and then everything else that kind of comes around it. That shoulder, <clears throat> the hair, and I'm sketching it just really lightly. This, there's like three bumps in it, but this I see the shape, the big shape right in there. The big shape, the hair, that hair. Yeah, people are addicted to uh, the social media. They can be. There's dopamine hits. They call it dopamine. It's some of the chemicals that are going off. And it's the same chemicals that uh, go off when you get addicted or when you sugar or, or you know, it's uh, interesting. All right. So this F here, um, I'm, I'm attaching it and I'm seeing how it fits, really how it fits here and how it kind of curves around, uh, around this uh, oval shape. Okay. So there's my oval shape. And then uh, that letter F that kind of goes around here. Then I'm going to put the fingers on there. What's really important is getting that solid, <clears throat> that solid F, and then we can put the fingers on, on it. All right. Let's see. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we've got uh, this this eye is the one on the right's a little lower. 
I was noticing the height and the width, kind of like an egg shape. Getting that shoulder here. That shoulder is going to come here and hold on to that. Hold on to that F. That F comes in here. I want to try to get that flow of that F, that flow, that flow of that F coming down and out. And then it curves and it comes down right in there, kind of like that. There we go. Yeah, I should have done this one earlier. Nah, but it's all good. It's all good. We have so many. So many. It's fun to draw, fun to draw. All right. I think that's that's it. We've got the, uh, the, the center part of the F coming to the cheek right in there. See, it's like two different parts. Here and down, then in, and then up. Okay, like that. There's that F part. Then here's the arm for that F, and it goes into the hand right in there, kind of. See, that's it. Just that hand, really quick. The angles, angles. Then her other hand is going to go right in here. You can see, see all those three fingers. I can see them as one big shape that's kind of, kind of go right in there, and then I can just go in there, put them in. But I want to see these big shapes first, these big shapes. And that's probably a little bit closer, but that's okay. I can bring that hand out a little bit more. See, I'm just blocking it all in, blocking it all in. Probably uh, zoom it, uh, swing it in a little bit more. Because you can see that this part of the dress, the top part of the dress right in there. And then it swim, swing it in there. There we go. Swing it down. All right. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's get these eyes in here. There's going to be one right about there, one right about there, probably a little bigger, a little more to the left. See, I'm making these adjustments and doing it really lightly. The nose is resting right on that line. There's the nose. Here's the mouth underneath. Right to that chin. Ooh, I'm going to have to bring this shoulder down. Try to get this mouth and face right and then everything else. See, I had to bring this shoulder down. I'm probably bring this, I'm probably gonna bring this cheek down too a little bit. Where this uh yeah, the chin down, the chin. Yeah, there we go. It's because there's that overlapping. I want to keep that overlapping, that overlapping uh, arm. All right, there it is. I'm going to zoom in. Let's zoom in on the face so you can see what we're doing here. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay, yeah, so there's a little bit of angry, angry eyes, little angry eyes. So you got to just, and it's just slight, like right in here. But it's really rounded. See the the roundedness that I got. And there's just a slightly, a little bit. I don't even notice it too much. But um, right in there, I like that. That's it. There's that. Just round it out. And then the eye, the pupils, right in here. To the right of that. And then there's shadow too. There's a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna, I can put the shadow in there. A little bit of a shadow. Makes it look more rounded. See a little bit of shadow I just added in there. Then I made it more rounded. There's there's more of an angle that it has, but it's all good. Then we got the nose. Right in between the two eyes. On this side, there's more space. Here there's the other nose is closer to this side, to this eye. Notice the spacing. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. These, the thickness, the thickness of this line is important too. There's there's quite a thickness to this drawing. These lines are pretty thick. These lines are pretty thick. And then here's the other pupil. Right in there. Try to get it to line up. And then we got the shadow again. A little bit of a shadow. And just a little bit of shade. Right in there. Kind of like a moon. Like a little moon. There you got that. Same thing on the whole face. There's a shadow on the whole face. 
Let me go darker and thicker with this line here. There we go. That's good. All right. You get the top part of that lip, the part, top part of that mouth. And then uh, this angle, try to get this angle in here and try to get it to fit in. Comes in like a rubber band. Swoops down almost to the shoulder. Or like, hey, don't take my, don't take my Facebook. Tengo cosas que hacer. I have things to do. Leave me alone. Stop it. Yeah, addiction. Son adictos. All right, there's a little bit of a shadow from the eyes, too. So bring that shadow over here. There's a little bit of shadow under that shadow, which is interesting. So the, the face, whole face has a shadow. So the whole face is rounded. There's a little bit of a moon shape right in here. It comes in here, right in here, like a moon shape. This whole shape, and then you got a moon shape. And I'll shade that in. Yeah, just around there like that. Make it rounded. Let's do the hair. Um, okay, comes up and over. Up and over. Up and around. There's three. One, a big one, and two smaller ones as it comes down. So right in there. Oops, a little higher up. And then the shoulder. There's that shoulder, but then there's the back. The back. Right in there. There's the back. Here's an ear. Let's get that ear in there first. That ear is important. The ear's right about in there. There's our ear. All right, there's the hair. Now we need to do the lines inside. The lines inside, um, this would be the main line right in here. There's one below it, but this is kind of like the main one. That one, like almost almost cutting it in half. Probably a little bit higher because you want one below it. And this one's also almost cutting it in half. Uh, well, it goes parallel. The same thickness here. It goes parallel up and around and all the way down. And like all the way down. Right in there like that. There we go. That's it. I'm just going over it again. Right in there. Um, and then this one. Next one is right in there. These two, let's see. I'm going to do this other one here too. In here, it's dark. In here, it's dark. So there's one more right in here. And what this is doing, this is my, kind of like making it like, um, I don't know how, how to say it. There's probably a hairstylist that knows, but um, all this is kind of like in shadow because um, this next part right here, uh, ooh, I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze another one in. There should be another one in there too. These two parts, these two here are, are dark. This is like in the shadow. And then that's this part, top part is a little bit lighter, but it's still, well, it's blue. But you see, I'm going to exaggerate a little bit so you can see. See, so this is darker here, and it's a little bit lighter up there. And I messed up my space and spacing there, but that's okay. And it just kind of echoes one, and then echoes two. There it is, two. And then all this is shaded as well. Shaded darker in there. Looks like it comes out. There it goes. There's the head. There's the face. I'm happy with that. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Not too shabby. Okay. Let's finish this up. All right, so I'm going to do the hand next. Here we go, the hand, 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 hand. There we go. There's only three fingers. Um, there's one in the middle and then the two above and below. One above and one below. You can see how it gets tapered bigger, pretty straight. Go up there. Mm. 
I mean, this tapers. It goes um, really try to get this shape. This is good practice on shape because it's wider and then it gets smaller as it goes up. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right. We're down, we're down. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, do this. Uh, let's do these fingers here. I can already see my F there. And I can do the fingers on top. There's one finger going here. And then the other two fingers, like the middle finger and the other finger uh, below it in a different direction. There's one going in one direction and these two going in a different direction, uh, almost parallel, almost um, horizontal, horizontal there. Okay, and I can see that in there. See, I can see that big shape and then I can see the, the small shapes. All right, so you should practice doing that. Seeing the big shape, like the big shape, that circle, and then the small shapes, and going back and forth. It's almost like uh, focusing your eyes differently. It's really an interesting skill. You want to focus on the big shapes, and then flip the switch and focus on the smaller shapes. You see that one big shape and then the other shapes in it. All right, that F, bringing it up a little bit. There's that F. Oh, there's a little bit of a twist at the end. Just slight. See that little point? There's a slight point. And that back. Oops. All right. Picking up that line. There we go. This. Oh, let's do that arm. There, that F arm. Just hanging. It's just hanging. It doesn't get closed off. And it does have fingers, even though it comes down like a triangle, like that's the big shape I see. Uh, here's here's the fingers. This there's this finger that loops around right in there, and then you've got uh, and then you've got it broken. Looks like the letter M or a W, or something going on right there like that. There we go. See, oh, two little Batman ears, and then that that finger. All right, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Go darker now. There's that finger. Another finger, another finger. There it is. Bam. And uh, there we go. Let's finish up this F. What the F? F for Facebook. I have a little drawing book and I would just draw faces in it. It was my Facebook. It, uh, I was missing for a while. I, I found it again. All right, let's do that bottom. It's rounded. The bottom part is rounded, even though it's not shown in the picture in the in the drawing. It does continue like that, rounded, and then it comes down and attached. There's the F. She's holding on to it with all her dear life. And there's shadows everywhere. So let's put that shadow here. There's a little bit of a shadow. See, I'm curving that right there. That's that. That's the shadow for that arm. Makes that pop. There's another little shadow from his finger right underneath, and then there's a shadow from this arm, right in there, see that shadow? Just put it in like nothing, like nothing, just put it in there. And even the whole F is slight, a half, half in shadow. If you cut it in half, not in half, but it's almost in half to the left side. All this is in shadow, all that, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter now. So you notice how that, hand just pops right here that some things will pop because it's contrast contrast we're adding contrast we're making a difference we're making a difference that's what we're really doing we're making a difference all right then i see one two three four 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 peaks so we've got two and two that's four so there's the center there's about the middle on that and we've got four peaks there's one two and there's the center, and then another one, two, one, two, right there. That's it. See how I did that? Bam. Get it to fit those four. And shade the dress. And then there's a shadow in here as well. And I'll darken that. And then I'll darken the dress right in there where that shadow is as it comes lower. And that's value, changing the value, see, right in there. Notice how that looks pretty wild. These two are the same value. 
but it gets darker here so it kind of gives you the illusion of that dress shadow oh there's another uh, there's a wrinkle right in here another wrinkle there but that all this is in shadow all this is shadow yeah yeah let's put that shadow should actually pretty be dark because that dress is a blue and this is dark right there should be this dark right in there that dark shade and then the dress is a little bit of a shade of a blue right in there right like that bam there it is nice el facebook el face ahí está el face Man, but man, look at that expression too. It's pretty wild. Uh, don't take my Facebook. All right, all right. It's eight fifty-seven. It's uh, well, it's actually nine o'clock. It's time to pack it up. Oh, well. I uh, appreciate that you put up the uh, the Zentangle for beginners, but uh, Pearl's not even here today. Oh, and I like those trees. Oh, we got the, you know we got to do that. Um, uh, we got to do the Edward Hopper. That ha Edward Hopper, what, what ideas do you have for that, Edward Hopper? I'm going to stop recording. Let's see. That's it for tonight. We're going to stop recording, but I'll, I'll talk. Let's see. And we'll let's see. Where's my... My ideas for next Thursday are really messy. You're old. 